If you're like me and have an older Nikon DSLR camera that you want to sell because you have too many cameras, then knowing a camera's shutter count is an important piece of information you need to let your future buyer know when they're considering buying your used camera. It tells them the number of photos that your camera has taken, which is an indicator of how much the camera has been used. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the shutter count on a Nikon camera on both Mac and PC computers. So let's get into it. If you're new here, my name is Desiree and on this channel, I share my tips for creating better photo and video content as well as reviewing gear. If you don't want to miss any of my tips, hit that subscribe button so you can get them as soon as they come out. All cameras keep track of the total number of photos or times you've pressed the shutter button throughout their lifetime. Over time, the repeated opening and closing of the shutter will lead to the parts that make the shutter work, wear out and eventually break down. When you're buying a used camera, it's good to know the camera shutter count so you have an idea of how soon the camera may or may not need repairs made to the shutter mechanism. Every camera has its own method of storing this information and based on the camera you have, it may or may not be as easy to find out. Nikon cameras keep this information stored in the metadata of your photos. The first step in finding the shutter count is to take a new photo either as a JPEG or a RAW file. It doesn't have to be a good picture for what we're going to use it for. I'll first show you how to access the metadata on a Mac. Take the memory card and put it in your computer. Go to the photo located on the memory card. Right click on the file and go to open with, then select the preview app. In preview, go to tools, show inspector, or press command I as a shortcut. Each tab shows you different information pertaining to the image. Click on the Nikon tab and right here where it says shutter count is the number we're looking for. Mine is 19,892 which isn't too bad. For most cameras, the shutter is estimated to last at least 100,000 to 200,000 shots before it goes bad. And it's an even higher number for very high-end cameras. To get this info on a PC, insert the memory card into your PC. Open Google Chrome or your preferred browser and go to this website, camerashuttercount.com. You're gonna upload the photo you took to this website. Don't worry, the photo doesn't get saved to the website. It just needs it to read the metadata. Click choose file and select the JPEG or raw photo file. Both file types work on this website. Click open. Then once you see the file name here, click the upload button here. Give it some time to get the info and then this page loads with the exact shutter count. I got the same number that I got on the Mac, so it matches. You can use this website on a Mac as well. So that wraps up this video. If you made it this far in the video, hit the like button as this will help get this video seen by more people and subscribe to my channel for more photo and video related content. Let me know in the comments if you try to find out what your camera shutter count is and if you were surprised when you saw the number. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.